to be testing and reviewing this. It's the DBR02X Professional Fireworks Firing System from www.happinessfiringsystems.com. Hit that link down below if you want to find out more about them. Now, this is just the control unit. You'll also need the receivers. Now, there's actually 72 um, cues on this particular firing system. So we're gonna get this down, go through the settings, and then later on, we may go outside and just test a few basic brief functions on the firing system, so stay tuned. But firing systems in general, they are consistent and they work really well, let alone these professional firing systems like this. The first firing system I ever had about eight years ago now was this thing. And I thought it was brilliant, but for a show, you need sequential firing, you need to be able to fire the fireworks and the cues off in particular patterns and blocks. And that's where something like this professional fireworks firing system comes in. So guys, if you don't know much about the firing systems, because there's a lot of people out there that just use a lighter, and I do too, but when you're doing shows and you need multiple fireworks lit, to the sound of music or just in sequence or you're doing weddings or a pyrotechnic show, guys, you're gonna have to get your hands at some point on a professional fireworks firing system like this. And here's a clip of this thing in action. So as you can see there guys, this thing is more than enough capable to do weddings or professional fireworks pyrotechnics shows. And the spec on these things is ridiculous, but we're gonna get to that in a moment. But before I carry on with the video, get these down and go through the features with you. I just wanna shout out um, www.fireworksfiringsystems.com, Happiness Fireworks, Kathy for speaking to the owner of these establishments and making this video happen. And as I've said, hit that link down below. Guys, they've got everything from small fireworks firing systems like this, right up into big firework professional firing systems like this, mortar tubes, fuses, igniters, SFX machines, spark machines. They have everything available on their website and they deliver worldwide. Guys, let's get this down and have a look. Have a look at this long range firing system. And on the surface, the box, look how thick this plastic is, guys. And I can tell you now, this is not that cheap, brittle, thin plastic um, that breaks. This is a proper solid carrying case. Good to take on the road and pack up in quite a small confined um, box here and take on the road. So on the surface, the carry case looks to be very good quality indeed. And now I've left it as it would come in the box. Instruction manual, um, fully recommended to read through this thoroughly. However, guys, I'm a guy, so I don't tend to do that that much. That's one of my biggest downfalls. However, it looks like we have a charger for this particular unit here mains charger and an antenna your antenna just screws in this connection here and it looks to be a good quality antenna and it is a movable one which is um, quite handy when you're using this to fire your fireworks now we also have another cool little feature here which is a flexible light you're going to be able to fit this in the unit right here via USB connection. And then when you're firing fireworks at night, I assume, let's just power this up. And there it is. It will light the system up so you can see which buttons to press when you're firing at night or in a dark area. Now you can see there I've just powered this up. Now there is a mains connection just here and this is where you'd plug your connection in to charge the unit up now each unit has a lithium 
battery and is weatherproof which is a very very good feature indeed when you're firing fireworks in all weathers so on this particular unit you can see that we have one to 24 cues but we'll talk more about this in a moment i'll just power this off and then we'll have a look at the receivers so once again i've left them as they would come in the box a set of keys with each receiver unit now this is for safety basically and it's a good safety feature if you're going through the motions you just turn the keys to test but if you want to fire obviously you turn this to fire so we have that feature there and we have 24 cues on this particular unit also the same feature as the other um, remote control unit charging 12.6 volts you also get a mains plug to charge this unit so let's power this on here and you can see that like on the other unit we just looked at there's also a power indicator of how much power you've got on each unit a district tally counter on this particular one and an antenna now your antenna actually goes on the side of these here and screws on like this and can be bent up for more of a effective signal while we're on the subject of signals and connectivity these receivers have actually got a real cool feature on the back of them and as you can see here they have a negative and positive and the same on the other box here now this is to hardwire these up with just normal copper cable and to ensure that there's no interference or you're struggling to get a signal so what you would do is you would wire um, these particular receivers up and then wire them back to the actual control unit so nothing can actually interfere with the connectivity and the signal should you experience any interference now what i'm going to do guys i'm just going to set this one off and then i'm going to get the control box and we're going to go through the sequences and see what functions we have okay guys so i've got them all set up and just to let you know all the receivers are actually connected to the box um, when you get them so there's no connectivity process or any rubbish like that you just open them it's plug and play basically you turn them on and as i've said you do have an option to make the connection stronger with the hard wiring process if you are experiencing any problems now i've got the um remote control set up here and as you can see the timing function i've just got set to naught I've got both flip switch down. I'll explain what those are in a second, but I'm just going to go through the basic features on this firing system. Um, nothing too detailed. So ultimately it's switched on. We have power, our antennas in, and we are ready to go. I've got my receiver set to test, um, and we're going to go in. So if we press Q1, and we look at the receivers here you can see that on both receivers q1 actually lights up on both simultaneously and at exactly the same time so once you've pressed the q the light actually stays indicated to let you know that you've already used that q and it can't be used again until you reset the system and put fresh talons in because firing talons they're basically small explosives that you can only really use once and as i've said the light stays on because you can only use a talon once so another cool feature is the sequential block fire which is these flip switches right here on the system so to activate this particular function all you do is you flip this switch up here 1 to 12 cues so what this is going to do when we press our sequence fire button 
is it's going to ignite the 1 to 12 Q blocks up on the receiver. And that's both of them. So as I press this button, what will happen is the 1 to 12 Qs will all light up. And if there were talons and fireworks connected to these things, they would be going up in smoke. So, and it's the same with the other side here. If I just flip this down and flip this up, you can see that the button flashes to let you know that you have this um, engaged. So this will fire cues 13 to 14, and that's the, the block on your right side um, that you can see there, and you can see it's lighting up there as I press the sequential button. Also, what you can do is you can engage all the cues at once. So if you've got a load of rockets, a load of barrages, it's New Year or somebody's wedding and you want to go out with a bang and see the New Year in, guys, you can fire all of these at once. As you can see, every cue would be fired. And of course, the lights will stay on to indicate that you've blown your load. Guys, <laughs> that's a quick look at this firing system. And we're not going to talk about the district tally or the timing feature in this particular video, but maybe in a future video. Guys, let me know what you think about the Happiness Fireworks firing system. I think it's pretty cool. In another video, I will take this out and possibly light some fireworks with this particular system and see how it performs. But as I've said, this does have enough features um, as a fireworks firing system to comfortably um, assist you in any pyrotechnics show, celebration, wedding or event. Guys, drop it in the comments. Hit that link down below. Thank you to happiness fireworks.com and I'll see you in another video.